Unleash the power of knowledge and connect with the heartbeat of the African diaspora. Download our African Diaspora News Channel app now on Google Play and Apple App Store. Stay informed with authentic and diverse perspectives, breaking news and cultural insights. Immerse yourself in a community that celebrates unity, resilience and progress. Experience the vibrancy of the diaspora at your fingertips. Don't miss out. Empower your perspective today. Search African Diaspora News Channel and join the conversation. March 16th marked the 33rd anniversary of the killing of Latasha Harlins, who was a 15-year-old teenager in South Central Los Angeles that was murdered by that of Soon Ja Du, a Korean-American liquor store owner of Empire Liquor, to be exact. Latasha Harlins walked into the store to purchase a bottle of orange juice, and Soon thought that it was a good day to mess with Latasha. Now, ordinarily, Soon's husband and son would have been working in the store, but for whatever reason, she was. Sounds like her husband was taking a nap outside in the family van. Well, Soon assumed that Latasha was going to steal the orange juice, and she accosted Latasha and pulled her sweater and her backpack, causing Latasha to turn around and knock her off of her. And so soon the liquor store owner fell to the ground and then she took a, got up and got a, a bar stool or some sort of chair and threw it at Latasha. And Latasha began to walk out of the store, right? Now, mind you, she's 15 and all this is going on. Well, soon decided to go and get a gun and shot Latasha in the back of her head, killing her instantly. Now, her husband heard all of the commotion and came inside and all of that. And he called 911 and said that a holdup had taken place, which we know that wasn't the case, right? But that's what her husband said. And so soon the wife went on with, oh, she was trying to rob us. And I was scared for my life. This was self-defense. And I did what I had to do, right? Well, when detectives looked at the cameras, they saw that nothing could be farther from the truth. In fact, they found the money, I think it was like $1.47 or something like that, in Latasha's hands, uh, stating that she had intended on paying for the orange juice, but it was the liquor store owner, Soon, who assumed that she wasn't and took extreme measures into her own hands. In fact, there were two other people, children that were in the store, they witnessed everything and they contradicted Soon's uh, testimony, basically saying, no, she went after Latasha in a very austere manner. And so, of course, we know as the trial went on, Soon definitely was found guilty of voluntary manslaughter. And originally she was sentenced to do 10 years in the state penitentiary, but the judge, uh, Joyce Carlins, in that case, decided, well, we're going to suspend it and only make her uh, serve, I think it was 400 uh, hours in community service, pay a $500 restitution, and she had to pay for the funeral of Latasha Harlins. But the judge was like, oh, I don't think that soon um, is that way, and I'm paraphrasing, and that she was under duress because she had been robbed once before. And so the judge allowed her to get a tap on the wrist and go live her life. Now, of course, we know that uh, it is said that Latasha Harlan's murder led to the L.A. riots because a lot of people thought that it was due to Rodney King. It had something to do with it. But black people and Koreans had this love-hate relationship, right? Because Koreans owning a lot of the convenience stores and things like that. Black people really owning next to nothing. And of course, the Korean-American community there in South Central treating black people, well, you know, like white supremacists, right? And so, of course, we know the L.A. riots uh, jumped off and uh, South Central is still uh, said to not have fully recovered from that. Of course, that happened, um, as I should say, Latasha happened in 1991, and then the riots happened in 1992. And so I feel that it's important to always honor that of Latasha Harlins, who would have been 48 years old had she lived. 
she also wanted to be a lawyer and loved basketball. So she would have, you know, if she was here, gone on to do great things. She wasn't a bad kid. Uh, and that's kind of what the media portrayed of Latasha. She was this wayward, bad kid, but she really was not. Everybody that knew her said she was a sweet kid, had ambitions, and was well-liked. But, of course, the media got a hold of it and made uh, the Korean woman the victim, right? Made her, oh, what was I going to do? I was so afraid of a 15-year-old that you decided to mess with and got away with cold-blooded murder. And so we should never forget people like Latasha. We also should always remember, even to this day in 2024, that black people are still unprotected. We do not have a hate crime bill that specifically speaks to us. But Asian Americans, they have one. As soon as Biden and Kamala got into the White House, they couldn't wait. And of course, Congress unanimously decided that uh, Asian Americans should have a hate crime bill. And they... They being Biden signed it proudly, leaving black people still unprotected, even though we are the most assaulted people by the police and everybody else in America. FBI statistics. If you don't believe me, look it up. And so I want y'all to remember Latasha Harlins. I want y'all to remember that black people still do not have a hate crime bill. When you all go into the booth and you decide to vote. Make sure you vote for somebody that is going to take up the causes of black people and not leave us out here unprotected to where uh, anybody feeling like a 15 year old is a threat. Right. And we've seen this happen in more modern day. I don't remember where it was right off the top of my head, but there was another black boy that had his life taken by an Asian who thought he was stealing water from the store. And it turns out that he was not. But. There is nothing to say that black people, if something like that happens to you again, you have a bill that protects you. Oh, but soon, who I understand is still alive, she has a bill that protects her. Soon being the woman that took Latasha's life. She has a bill that protects her that if you, especially a black American, were to do something to her, she can invoke that bill. The Asian American Pacific Islander hate crime bill known as the COVID-19 hate crime bill, right? She could go and use that and get protection under federal law because she is Asian. But you, Latasha, Latasha that soon took her life. She, if she was here today, she wouldn't have protection. She would be unprotected by the woman who took her life on March 16th. 1991. So anyway, y'all remember that. And also, before you leave, if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetri K Show, 